Freedom, where limits don't exist, where anything can be captured just with your fist. Space, where silence is a sound, where you can explore the night sky without touching the ground. Books, where words define themselves, where stories create a drawing and tumble off the shelves. Spring, where new chances and opportunities come your way, where accomplishment and achievement reward you every day. Wings, where all your problems take flight, where all your wonders carve into the night. Meghan Markle's dress. Cold war on the brink, a million refugees float to our shores, bruised, bloody and dead. Third world countries bombed that half our population can't point to on a map. Hollywood directors forcing their sexual fantasies on young women just trying to hit the big time. But the powers that be would rather cover the media with stories of wedding cakes and glitter, fake smiles and pleasantries. Millions of pounds wasted on an hour of patriotism. Terrorists at our door calling for a religious holocaust, toxic fumes pumped into the air by suits sitting at the top of the tallest towers, housing estates built on top of homeless shelters, unknown chemicals in our food, poisoning the populace. But open any newspaper, the royal wedding, a million purple cupcakes, the British flag shakes proudly in the wind, a million loyal Brits sit to watch a monotonous four hour stretch, even though the world's on fire. Nothing is as important as Meghan Markle's dress. Freedom by Billy Doolan. All I want is freedom. Is that too much to ask? All I want is freedom to forget everything in the past. All I want is freedom to take away all the tears and pain. All I want is freedom to never feel that way again. The War Has Been Won by Christopher Hunt. Freedom like a bird soaring, nothing to stop you, just the sound of wind whistling. Nothing to interrupt you, just you. Finally, there is a party on the streets. The time has come. Community united by friends, by families. The war has been won. There is laughter and song. There is dance, jokes and a feeling of freedom. Oh, it has been so long, people's spirits lifted as if by helium. The time has come, all brought by a feeling that is almost alien. The war has been won. Like a chain has been unravelled. Like the cuffs have been unlocked, like the life has been brought back, free from the constraints, the time has come with a new life to equate. The war has been won. Time to rebuild society, a collaboration after the destruction of class hierarchy, to rebuild what's left of community, bringing every individual together as a team. The time has come, what people could have only thought of as a dream. The war has been won. Men coming home to their offspring, we must remember our lost, as tired and bewildered as anything, the precious lives this has cost. Coming back to family, the time has come. From what was the unimaginable reality, the war has been won. Freedom like a bird soaring, nothing to stop you, just the sound of wind whistling, nothing to interrupt you, just you. My life, just me. I definitely got thrown into the pit today, the learning pit. It's really hard to get back out again. Others around me just seem to be able to climb out quickly. I'm just digging around for answers. Sometimes I can find them. Dividing, multiplying and algebra, they're like a foreign language to me. But French is okay, my teacher gets me. English is a bit hard, but I've got better at this, definitely. Dyslexia, it's my hidden disability, it's me. Some teachers don't understand why I can't work quickly. I feel like I have a different perspective to everyone else. I'm great at science, I just get it. I love the practical side of it and bunts and burners. I dream of being an architect one day. I see things in pictures, just how my brain works. That's why I love art. You can't get it wrong, you can't mess it up. At school, it's annoying that you only get art once every two weeks. Art makes me feel happy even with everyone else in the room. Some days I can be neat and good at everything. Other days, I seem to get everything wrong. It feels that there is no right answer. 
I think differently to everyone else. I try to think outside the box. Most days I succeed. It's weird. Sometimes I can remember things that have happened to me a long time ago, like being lifted out of a cot by my mum and being pushed up a street in my pushchair. At schools it's harder to remember stuff. It seems to pop into my brain and then floats off, never to return. Sometimes I feel that I've been sucked into a black hole of learning. Later I'm in a starship and everyone else has disappeared, the captain and the crew. I'm all alone. I need to fix my ship before it gets torn apart. Sometimes I get out of this hole, sometimes I can't. Every day is different, yet the same. Having a hidden disability makes, my exp makes me experience things differently. What would it feel like if you had dyslexia? Would you have a different perspective on life like me? Freedom, a fundamental value always on her mind. The scent of death stalks her and those who associate with her have learnt to ignore her. They used to call her free and now they laugh behind her once impressive state. Years ago she had a vision, one of wealth and of freedom and she was ready to do anything and to raise her flag of freedom and peace. The dreams distorted. Her freedom meant pain and slavery for others. Many feared her and she was ruthless. Men put their down their lives for her, murdered for her, lied to her to raise the flag. Her vampire thirst never quenched from the blood she drew across the world and that would be her undoing. Too many scars have diminished any force she ever held and her eyes are sunken red and her legs are now heavy. How could one so prominent stoop so low? She is older, much older than she should imagine and she's tired and her muscles ache. She's an addict to hatred and blood. She has given everything to it and her so-called freedom it died with her younger self. This isn't the country she wanted to become, but for all that genocide, she became the country she deserved. Enjoy your freedom. Rule Britannia. <laughs>